Um, I'm going to start with you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa salatu wa salam. Alu bismillah. Salallah. Wa alayhi wa salam. Okay, so basically I'm doing this video. Um, my name is Hussein Thomas. I'm on Project Wall Street OT. Generally focus calling the youth back to um, practicing like tall heat, but also um, dealing with the um, social rules they go through. Anyway, um, some of you know what's going on, some of you don't know what's going on. Um, basically, there was a brother I promoted. His name is Adnan Abu Rayan. He had a project, or has a project called Hikma Bookshop. Um, so basically, I promoted the brother because me and my brother. If I see brothers doing well, if they got a business, if they've got a business, or they've got uh, a dawa company, or they've got I don't know some things, and I know them, or well, I know brothers that know them, I'll promote them because um, you know. Um, I want to see brothers do well, dean wise, dunya wise. I want them to get reward, so forth. So generally, if I know a brother, or I know brothers that are trustworthy, I've known them for years. I know them like brothers, like blood brothers. I know them like that well, and they suggest then I promote some. Anyway, this brother handed us all certain good things from him. I saw that in his community, he was arranging wrestling for the brothers. He was on um, him and another brother was taking our brothers to eat and stuff and um, they would do their own little dawah. So I saw them, um, shot some videos with them. I've only heard good about them, asked other people about them, I only heard about good about them. So promoted them. Anyway, um, I'm promoting and promoting it as the time goes past, as the years go past. Um, a woman comes up in my comments when I post one, when I post the, one time I post the brother's video and then I post this video and a woman come up in the comments, like she's a sister, the lady didn't have her job or nothing, so I was, I was kind of confused, like she didn't use any Islamic words or anything, so anyway, she commented on one of the videos and said that basically, um, she said that basically, uh, the brother in the video, which was Adnan, um, had had a child from her, and um, he didn't look out. He's not being responsible for his child. He's not looking after his child. He's ignoring her. Blah blah. So anyway, I deleted her comment. Um, I made so many excuses for the brother. I, 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 you know, I'm, I, I just ignored ignored the person, and I carried on. Um, a little while after, um, some sisters contacted me, and she said to me, "Those brothers that are in my a uh, brother that a brother that is in my video, uh, the same um, uh, one of the brothers anyway, or in the video that I was promoting and so forth." I said they have a marriage service, and basically they approached them on a train, and the way they approached them, the person, the way the person approached them on the train was flirting with them and so forth, and. You know, which was trying to get signed up to marry on this marriage service, but then they were trying to marry them for themselves. Anyway, that was another thing. I just so many excuses. I just put it to the back of my um, mind. I said maybe you know, sometimes sisters want to marry a brother in the dull scene, and sometimes they get turned down and they get jealous and they become haters. So then another message would come. A little while after, our sister went to the, the bookshop that the brothers had tried to get a job. And the brother was flirting with them and so forth. But after a while, after a while, you make so many excuses. You, 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 see, one case comes, you, you, you believe good for your brother, you know what I'm saying? Another case comes, you turn a blind eye. But after a while, when lots of different people who are not connected keep on content, you can't keep on content to you. You start thinking there's got to be something there. Uh, eventually, um, uh, ex-wife uh, contacted me, this, that, and so forth, and things started happening. So what happened is that I would bring this stuff up. I'd, 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 
I know how the game goes now. Like I would say that I would say that most brothers in Dawa, I would say the vast majority of brothers in Dawa. The I wouldn't even say it's half. I think the vast majority of brothers in Dawa are doing that for the sake of Allah. But um, you'll find that maybe a quarter or a few brothers here who take advantage of it. Yeah. So what happens is that um, the only thing is now when someone claims that brothers are doing Dawa and they're using the Dawa with his Instagram, with his Facebook, with his YouTube or stuff. And they're starting to flirt with sisters and stuff. When you approach them now, what they say is that, where's your proof? Because they're supposed to have four witnesses. Four witnesses. Um, you know, if you accuse someone of zina or you accuse someone of, yeah, adultery or whatever. So if you're supposed to have four witnesses, you know? You know, in the Muslim countries, generally, men and women, they don't mix, like, generally segregated. And a man isn't going to be alone for, for women in general, apart from if it's his wife or his sister or so forth. Women, they, sisters, they're supposed to travel without a guardian and so forth. And that in the West, it's not. You can't always do that because, you know, the way that it's a non-Muslim country and it's not just out for that. We try our hardest, but it's not always that situation. So anyway, um, it's very hard for you to find four. It's going to be very hard for you to find four witnesses if a brother and a sister alone, yeah, did zina or, you know, would guard to stuff, you know. And so forth. Where is it going to be for witnesses? They're going to link alone and they're going to do whatever they want to do. Anyway, so the brother kept on saying that he's not doing anything, he's not doing anything, he's not doing anything. This sister will come up, this sister will come up, this sister will say he doesn't end up, but there's no proof. Um, so that went on for a long time, you know, but then he wouldn't just be doing zina with people. It would be marrying, marrying and divorcing, marrying and divorcing, marrying and divorcing, marrying and divorcing within like very short times. So anyway, the, I'm going to cut this short because a lot of you might have heard of, heard of this. If not, if you want me to do a full video on my whole interaction with him, just that, I'll explain it. But the reason why I'm making this video today is because uh, I'm not tied to any masjid. I'm not tied to, I'm not tied to um, any masjid at all. I'm just a brother, a convert brother. You know what I'm saying? I do my youth project and this, that, and the other, you know, um, and I don't have any ties to any masjid in admin or as a Dawa person. I do my own project. I have nothing to do with any masjid. Uh, but what happened is that recently, two s sisters, well, one was a sister, but she left the deen because of Adnan. Basically, she became Muslim because of him and this, that, and the other. I think they were either learning Islam together or he, she was coming, looking into Islam and she was with him. Then I don't know, he done zina with her. They had a relationship or something. She got pregnant. He didn't take care of his side, and he left her or whatever, yeah? And she said she left Islam because, you know, if Islam is the truth, how could a person do shampoo like that? Now, we know you should become Muslim because of Tawheed, yeah? And because the Haq and so forth, but if you're a new Muslim and you come into Islam with someone who, or someone's helping to learn Islam or something, and then they have relationships with you, and they have a baby with you, and then they dust off, person with not much ilm is going to obviously take that to heart and take that person as a representative but anyway so anyway recently um two people came forward a girl that was a sister that left the dean um and a sister and basically they got dna tests um now what was happening previous to this is that me me, because I knew the brother was, like, doing things with girls and so forth. I wouldn't... I know the game, so if I asked him for the little... Yeah. If, uh, if, I, if I said, ask him, have you been doing zina? You, or if I accuse him of doing zina with someone, he's going to say, where's your witnesses? I know how this goes, because other people have done it to him. So I wasn't going to play this game. So what I would do is I would do videos, and I would talk about the, him, yeah, or that situation, or what the situation. And then what would happen is that... He would know I was talking about him. So then he would try and say, Oh, Aki, why are you talking about people? You're backbiting, you're slandering, you ain't got no proof of it. And I said, Look, I didn't mention anyone's name. And I did this over and over and again. I kept on doing videos about him whenever a case would come up. Yeah. And he knew I was talking about him, but he knew I couldn't say that he did it because he had a witness, because there was no witnesses. But the case is different. I was speaking to a student of knowledge, and the case is different. If someone does zina with somebody, and they swear by Allah that the other person did it, yeah, 
then you don't need four winners. Both of them come together this well for Allah to curse the one who's lying and so forth. But the brother wouldn't do that. So, okay, they, they don't want to do, like, he wouldn't do swear by Allah that he didn't impregnate these women. He just denied it. But when he came to swear by Allah, he wouldn't do it. Then what happened basically is that uh, Imam asked him for a DNA test. He said he would do it, but when it came time to do it, he avoided it. So what they did is, they got one of um, his wives, one of his uh, past wives, volunteered because she had a baby from him. Um, she volunteered for, what is it, um, to do a DNA swab, like basically check her baby, yeah, to check if it's the father of the other babies. So they did that. So that was done recently, and that masjid, they released, they released the, um, they released the, the results today, and basically the results say that that, that brother. Yeah, he's the father of two kids, a non-Muslim girl and her sister. Yeah, they, and they're both from Zina. Yeah, and the thing is this, yeah, is that um, after a while, because I was trying to, I was trying to expose the brother because he was doing dawah, yeah, but still sleeping around with people. This is what I'm trying to say to you. He was doing dawah. Uh, some of you have seen the picture. He was doing like teaching for hadith one night. The next day, yeah, he would be in a club. He would be in a club with his hand around a girl and alcohol in his hand, yeah. Or like he'd be doing dawa and yeah, he's sleeping with girls. So the whole thing is now people might say that's between him, and him. Like what well, we, he's doing that's between him and Allah. No, it's not. Especially because I promoted him. The reason why he got got to doing dawa at this this place and that place and this place and that place is because. Um, he started up a channel, but uh, alhamdulillah, I've been doing my channel for quite a little while, so it's it's not massive, but it, it, it reaches a lot of people. So when I promoted him, I promoted him by myself. I put him out there, and then people started inviting him to speak to other places and so forth. So I'm responsible for putting him out there. Yeah, and, you know, if now, now I'm aware that he's doing this, I'm basically, um, I'm basically um, covering my back. Yeah, so I'm putting it out there now. Yes, I promoted the brother. I saw good from the brother. I knew the brother as a good brother and so forth. I promoted him like I promote myself. I did that. Okay, now I know that the brother's been sleeping around. He's been doing zina. He's got kids. And these these are the only... T these girls that have done uh, got the TNA test. Like, there's other girls that have made claims and stuff like that. But they never knew how to prove that he was, like their father of the kids and so forth so these are the only there's two that have been proven so far but from the amount of people that have inboxed me and so forth i believe there's much more you like kids out there that you that um are from him yeah in cases of zina so the whole thing is this now is that i'm doing this video i'm basically doing this video <coughs> to free myself anyone seeing my project street or dean i've got nothing to do with hikma bookshop i've got nothing to do with abu rayyan I've got nothing to do with um, uh, any of the other Dawah accounts that he's got. Yeah. Um, what I would say is that um, is that a lot of sisters. What happens is with a lot of sisters and so, so forth is that when they see brothers doing Dawah, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Instagram or whether it's Facebook or Speakers Corner or whatever, what happens is that sometimes there's Sometimes sisters get a bit of a crush, yeah, so what is it? they see the brother giving dawah, they hear him say kala, kala rasulullah, mention some Arabic terms and stuff like that, and then they get a dawah crush on, on a speaker or, 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 or a da'i or whatever, yeah, and then what happens is that they think, oh, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to marry this brother and so forth. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with a sister wanting to marry a brother who they think is pious and practicing and so forth. But um, there's a number of things with this. Uh, one, just because someone's giving that one a good, a good speaker or articulate or convincing doesn't mean they have a lot of ibadah. Doesn't mean that they're Arabic. Doesn't mean that they're a mu'min. They're a really strong Muslim. That's one thing. Secondly, okay, if you want to marry someone who's in the Dawah scene and doing a lot of Dawah and so forth, yeah, don't, don't, there, there's also a lot of other sisters, yeah, that are, that are throwing themselves at the brothers as well. Secondly, like I said, the vast majority of brothers who are involved in Dawah and doing Dawah and so forth, I would say that they are brothers who do it for the sake of Allah. But there is a, a like I would say, like a quarter or a, a, a 
a group, yeah, or some, of some, not the majority, not half, you know what I'm saying, and so forth, that take advantage of it. So be careful. Um, so all I'm going to say now is that, look, before the sisters were claiming, all the sisters that were claiming that he was doing zina, that he was, um, that he was, um, all the sisters that were claiming that he was doing uh, zina and stuff like that, what would people, people call them liars, people say, you've got no witnesses, you've got no proof, where's your delil, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now there's delil there. You know, I said, if a sister's done, has a kid from him, or is done, has a kid from him, or so forth, yeah, you can get, you can, inshallah, you know, um, try and contact you know what I'm saying, the imam, and see if you can get your your your, your child, yeah, if you can pr- prove it's your child. But those two sisters that did claim, no one can call them lies no more, no one can say that they're haters, and no one can say that they're lies, or this, that, the other, and so forth. Um, what else did I want to say? Is that, uh, yeah, so it's up to sisters, the brother is still doing dawah at the moment, the brother is still out there doing dawah. We were told what happened is that, um, like I said, because I knew he was out there and he was, um, he was, was it? He was giving dawah and drawing sisters in through their Instagram. Most sisters he got through giving dawah through his Instagram. Yeah, he was giving dawah on his Instagram and then it goes to the inbox and then from there, whatever happens. Yeah. Because I knew this was going on, like I said, I would used to talk about him, but not by name. As time went on, and it got serious, I started mentioning him by name, um, and so forth. It got to a stage where, one time, we must have seen each other at the masjid, because uh, we go to the same masjid sometimes, yeah? So what happened is we bumped into the same, we went to the same masjid, we saw each other. He was saying he wants to talk to me, he wants to talk to me, he wants to talk to me. I said, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, you got to sort out your problems. He goes, what do you mean? I said, sort out your problems. So anyway, we nearly had a fight. So what happened is that the uh, Imam must have came and he like, spoke to us and he said, listen, because uh, we were going back and forth on social media, I was trying to expose him, he was trying to tonight. So anyway, what, was, what, uh, what happened is we were told not to give dawah, well, he was told not to give, he was told not to give dawah, he was told to stay away from social, social media. Uh, because these imams and stuff had already heard about him because he's been doing it for years. And nearly 10 years he's been up to this, like, dawah and, and, and sleeping around and stuff, yeah. But, um, yeah, but the thing is this, is that we, he was told to stop doing dawah. He was told to close all his dawah channels. He was told to stay away from giving lectures at massages and universities and this, that, and the like, so what happened, he, he was told to do that. Um, he didn't. He's still doing that up, to, up until this day. So the reason we're making this video now, now is that at the end of the day, um, he's out there, I've said his name, I've said his kunya, you know what I'm saying? I mentioned his dawah project. Um, you know, I've mentioned that he's got, like, he's been doing zina and he's got two kids, you know, um, from, what is it, from zina. Yeah, the, the pictures are out there where he was doing 40, teaching 40 hadith one night and then the club the next and so forth. So now, like, that picture kind of went viral. So now it's up to sisters. Yeah, I've made it clear that the masjid have done the DNA test and this, that, and, the other, and so forth. And um, basically, it's up to sisters now what they want to do, what they want to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read a statement from the masjid. Now, I've got nothing to do, I've got nothing to do with the masjid. I'm not an admin. I'm not a, what is it, a, a student of knowledge there. I'm nothing from that to do with the masjid that released the statement. But the brother and I both go to that masjid, yeah, attend that masjid and so forth. But they put, they put out a statement. Um, the first statement they put out was a little while ago. But I'm, they released both of them today. So I'm going to read, I'm going to, I'm going to read, um, I'm going to read, what is it, both of the statements. Okay, so, the masjid put out this statement. They said that, upon making contact with communication, hold on, that's it, come on. Uh, okay, where's the first one? Okay, 
yeah. So it's yeah, case accusation made against uh, Abu Rayyan. You can see this, the the you can see the documents um, on any of my pages. Just type Street or Dean go on Facebook, go on Street, um, go on Instagram. Just type Street or Dean. Street, Street or Dean. Dean is D W E N. Okay, so it says this case made against uh, Abu Rayyan Adnan. Approximately six months ago, some allegations of inappropriate behaviour, unbefitting treatment, and unsuitable contact with multiple women, multiple of women, multitude of women, by the above-named brother were brought to our attention. Some of these women were said to be in a vulnerable circumstance, and as a result, many concerns and complaints were raised. The case gathered great attention from the public at large and raised many questions as to what really happened. The matter was also played out and posted on many social media platforms. The master was, was asked to investigate the serious matter, matter from the point of safeguarding for children, sisters and reputation, etc. We, re we are reminded of this by what is mentioned in the Hadith of Sahih al-Bakhari. Um, Abu Baraka reported that the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, peace, peace, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, during his last pilgrimage, what is, uh, is the day today? We kept quiet, we kept quiet thinking what, what might give the day another name. The Prophet said, is it not the day of sacrifice? We said yes. The Prophet said, which month is this? We again kept quiet, thinking he might give it another name. The Prophet said, is it not the month of Duhijjah? We said yes. The Prophet said, verily your lives, your property, your honour are sacred. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, Bas verily your, your lives, your property, your honour are sacred to one another. And the sanctity of this day of yours in this month of yours in this city of yours let no one let let one present inform the others who are absent perhaps they will present their inf and inform each another one who understands better than him so basically there's a hadith just talking about the sanctity of people's lives and so forth and that's what they mention here anyway so they go on to say the masjid goes on to say we initially released a statement on the 23rd of the 3rd 2019, outlining that we would look into the matter, contacting all parties involved to hear their sides, and that we would release to the community our final findings after we have conducted a thorough investigation of the concerns raised with the claims and allegations made. Okay, cool, that's the first part. And the second part is here, this was this a few months later. A few months later, upon making the communication with those involved, we learned that the allegations were more severe regarding the brother in question. The brother in question is Abu Rayyan Adnan. Yeah? In the meeting, the brother agreed to carry out a DNA testing to prove the credibility of the claims. From the claims were multiple cases of sin and adultery, which resulted in birth of children whilst being married. He didn't follow through with the, doing a DNA. Um, test within the agreed fra time frame. Subsequently, a sibling DNA was conducted and the res results have been received. What has uh, been unveiled is that the children in question are biolog biological related to Adnan, to Adnan. A swab test was conducted with child one, who is a claimed child of a previous marriage. Child two and child three both born out of wedlock and are children he denies. Although the two women claim they both belong to him, the DNA test results proves that all the children related, all the children are related as half siblings, which means they share the same father. These copies of DNA uh, test reports, which was conducted by a credible com company, Alpha Bias Labs, um, and the testing was, and the testing process was video recorded and is in safekeeping. 
In conclusion, it saddens us, saddens us to bring the matter to the, to the public for the purpose of the community safeguarding. It is a necessary message due to Abu Rayyan Annan being a public figure on social media and invite and an invited speaker to public gatherings. This was the conclusion of the mosque and the Islamic Cultural Center. Yeah, and then they quote Ayah. Uh, um, indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving relatives and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded. And they put, may Allah guide us all. Anyway, so basically, that was a statement released by a masjid saying that basically there was a DNA test done, yeah, on two kids, yeah, that were uh, claimed by the mothers to be the child's dad. The way they did it, they got someone who was known to be married to. There's no doubt he was married to her and he, uh, sister and he had a kid from that and they tested it with that child, that child's DNA, because he wasn't willing to come forward, yeah? So, maybe I'm a here. Maybe the DNA people are here. Maybe the scientists are here. And maybe the masters are here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or maybe it's just there's a brother who's doing Dawa and Zinner at the same time. Now, the reason why, I've, like I said, I've done this video is because the brother, we were, when we both saw each other at the masjid, and he said, well, talk to me, I said, I ain't got nothing to talk to you. You just need to sort your sexual problems out and stuff like that. And we're going to yeah, end up having a fight. The man came to us and he told us, like, um, he said, okay, like, basically, and then we had a meeting. We got taken upstairs. We was told, basically, that Nan's supposed to stop down. He's supposed to not go around giving lectures and so forth. And um, that we should, we, should, we should stop going back and forth on um, social media. So I took all my posts down. I took down my pictures of him in the club one night, the picture of him doing a dawa the night before. I took down all my stuff, all the accounts from sisters that they had sent me, that they'd done zina with him and so forth. I took it all down. Since the time, yeah, when we were told not to go back and forth, because my part of the deal was not to go back and forth on the internet, his was not to give dawa and not to be giving lectures and stuff. And then has not stopped doing dawah. In fact, he's opened up more accounts than he's doing, and he's carrying on doing dawah. Um, so I haven't gone back and forth with him. I took all my things down, but now these results are out, yeah? And basically, he's carrying on doing dawah. Not even that, just the other day, I'm not lying, wallahi, just the other day, the brother on his WhatsApp, he posted, I don't know, 